A second Earth has finally been found, yeah! Well, kind of. Yo guys, what's happening? Dave Wapple here, and you've been blasted off in here. That doesn't really make a lot of sense into I.O. Okay guys, so if you guys could go to any planet in the entire universe, where would it be? Me? I think Saturn would be kind of cool, although maybe Jupiter. I feel like getting crushed like a bug. So we're talking about mm, Kepler 438b. And yeah, son, it's like Earth. Yeah, a planet like Earth. Finally, we can get the heck out of here. Screw you, Earth. I'm leaving. Um, actually, Dave, that planet is like 470 light years away. So this little planet is known to be in the Goldilocks zone. Hello, little guy. Actually, believe it or not, it's quite big. It's actually a tiny, tiny bit bigger than Earth. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck is the Goldilocks zone? They also call it the green zone, which basically means it's a spot where they think life can actually happen. Why? Because they believe water's there. Now, the only thing that's different about this planet is it is way closer to its star than, well, we are. It's so close that, well, let's actually take a look. Here's our sun. Here's where we are. Now, let's take a look at theirs. Here's their sun. Oh, gosh, that's pretty close. It's so close that it actually only takes them 35 days to go around the sun. God, I love talking about space. So scientists do believe that this planet's surface is mostly rocky. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they say that this planet's got a 70% chance that it is rock. Dang it, when are we going to find a planet that's mostly jello? Because then we can bounce all over the place. And eat our way to the center of the planet. <laughs> now currently scientists are waiting for new telescopes that will start looking for more exosolar planets. Heck, they even got one that's going to replace the Hubble already. And just to give you an idea of how many exosolar planets have been found, as of January 1st, 2015, they have found over 1,855 exosolar planets. That is a lot of potential life. Either way, guys, I want to know your thoughts. Do you believe that we're going to make first contact with aliens in 100 years? Let me know your thoughts down there. Thanks for watching, guys. Dave Wobble here, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it out of this world, out there in the cosmic universe. Later.